Thank you for dropping in and taking a couple of minutes to look at a business opportunity that can be yours and for a very, very reasonable amount of investment to get you started in something that's easy, something that you could do at home, something that doesn't take a lot of brain damage to learn how to do and is incredibly profitable. So we're talking about the CD and DVD production business. Now, everybody knows what a CD and a DVD is. But did you know that you can produce CDs and DVDs for a fraction of the cost of what they retail for? Which means big profits in a business where most of the work is automated. So yes, this is a business that you can do by yourself or with a partner, with a spouse. And yes, you can do it at home. So who uses DVDs and CDs? It's used for software. It's used for sales and marketing for promotion. It's used for data backup. There's companies that just recently opened up that do photo albums where they take your photos, they scan them, and they put them on a DVD. You know, bands, churches, corporations, families, about everybody is a potential market for you. And here's what we're going to cover in the video. Let's talk about the numbers. I mean, let's get down to the bottom line how profitable can this business be? And realistically, what are the numbers? So we're going to cover that first. And then I'm going to show you a short demo about how the equipment works. And finally, I'm going to go over what equipment is included in the offer that we're making today. So let's get started. So let's talk about the math of the business. The TAC P55 uses a ribbon set that will print 500 discs per ribbon set. So this breaks down to a cost of 30 cents per disc. Then you have the cost of your blank media, your CDs or DVDs. You typically buy those in bulk 100 at a time. Right now the cost of DVDs has gone down quite a bit and the cost of CDs has stayed a little bit around the same, but you know, for all practical purposes, figure on about 23 cents per disc on a DVD, maybe up to as high as 30 to 35 cents per disc, depending on where you get it. To do the math here, Let's base this on 23 cents per disc. The next thing is you have to have something to put the disc in. Now in our case, a lot of our projects were just a matter of it was bulk, so we put them in a paper sleeve. You buy them in bulk, typically they run between 3 to 5 cents a piece. So this means your total cost to make a disc is approximately 58 cents. It takes a TAC P55 about a minute and 50 seconds to print one disc. And again, while you're printing the one disc, at that same time, you could be using the burning towers and you can be burning five, seven, you, you know, depending on the series of towers that you use, you could be burning 14 or more disc in a run. And it typically takes in a run between three to five minutes to burn the CDs or the DVDs, depending on their size. So let's say that we sell the disc for $1.60 per unit. This is a wholesale transaction. Minus the cost of 58 cents, it means our net profit per disc is a dollar one. So each time that the TAC P55 makes a cycle, you're making a profit of a dollar. So basically a dollar every two minutes. So if it's taking basically a two minutes to be able to print a disc, that means it could print 30 discs per hour. So that means that you have a net profit of approximately $30.30 per hour. Now on an eight hour day, $30.30 means that you're making $242.40. Our package that we're selling is three P55s. If you're doing projects where you're running three P55s for an eight hour shift at $242.40 per P55, that means that you have a profit, a net profit of $727.20 per day. You're probably asking yourself the question, are these numbers real? Yes, these numbers are real. It's a very profitable business, and the nice part about it is it's not very labor-intensive because the machines do the work for you. This is a training on using the TAC P55 printer and the autoloader. We're going to cover two segments on this train. The first segment is setting up the uh, artwork for the label itself, and then how to take that label and move it over into the P55 and to program the P55 to go ahead and print CDs and DVDs for you. So let's go ahead and let's get started. We're going to open a program that is called Sure Thing Labeler. We're going to select New 
and you see that there's a template that shows up. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to select the correct template for our printer, which you see here, the TAC P55. Now, these little segments here, we really don't need. They're kind of uh, templates to start working with, so I'm just going to delete those out of the way. And I've already got some artwork picked out. Since it's the football season, let's make a Bronco disc. So here's a background that I've selected about the Bronco Stadium. We're going to take it and uh, drop it in, and we're going to size it to fit. Now you notice on the far left hand corner, I did leave it a little white there. I did fix that later, you know, after I made this training. But, uh, you know, you get the idea. So here we're going to open up the text bar. And I'm going to change this over to Go Broncos. Put an exclamation point on there. Hit OK. And now I'm going to resize this. I think we'll make it like a, you know, 48 on our font. And then we'll just go in and we'll position it how we want it. Move it around to the position. There we go. And I think I want to go ahead and add some more stuff on here. So let's put the Bronco head on there and I'm kind of want that in the middle well it landed right in the middle where I want it to land so that looks pretty good we'll just move it a little bit there okay you see this is it's really 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 simple to put your artwork together we're going to move that around a little bit more on the text I think we'll put a drop shadow into the text so I really want that to kind of pop out, so I'll put a little black drop shadow in it. There we go. Yeah, that'll look good. Okay, since this is going to be a disc, we can go ahead and add uh, the, the um, disc logo or the DVD logo. And in this case, I think we'll just go ahead and make this a, a DVD. So let's find the DVD, DVD video. There we go. And we'll just drop that in. Again, we'll resize it. You'll find that the software for making the artwork is extremely intuitive and easy to work with. Okay, let's go ahead and add some more artwork. I like a Bronco helmet, so let's go ahead and put that in there. It's a little bit big, so we'll take it down in size. We'll move that over. I think right there would look good. But I need to also, though, probably move my text a little bit. Let's take it and let's just rotate it over here a little bit. Good. I, I like that. So you see we used graphics. We used text. Uh, we've also used a photo. And the P55 will print that well. I want to put a little bit of a space between the exclamation point here. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and save the file. Let's give it a name. We'll call it Bronco Disk. So now we've saved our artwork. Now we're going to look at print. Now before we go through all the print, you see it says t Label Printers P55. We'll go here and we'll click Advanced. And you see what how this works is it prints to file which creates what's called a PRN file. And we'll get a little bit more in that in just a minute. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. The next thing we need to do is we need to pull up our printer out of the control panel. This is very important, otherwise it will not work. Select the printer. You'll see the TAC P55. Right-click it. Drop down and go Use Printer Online. Okay, see so it has a little check mark by it. Okay, so that part's good to go. Now, let's go ahead and hit print, and a dialog box is going to pop up. Now, we need to give this, this PRN a name, so we'll just call it Broncos or Bronco Disc. Dot PRN. You have to type that in. Dot PRN. That's what the TAC will see. 
Okay, we save the file, and this is going to go ahead and pop up, and this is going to be some of the options. So we look at the ribbon type, we look at the hue, the other items we really don't touch, but see, we could choose a photo uh, ribbon, a color ribbon, monochrome, or what's known as a P+. Transfer command, we leave normal. Color package, we never mess with. We can select colorful, or we can select classic. Okay, save that. Now that's going to create the PRN file that the TAC P55 will see. Save our uh, artwork once again, just in case. And you'll see there's an icon here on the screen. That's our artwork. If we click on that, it'll bring the artwork back up. Again, everything easy, easy, easy so far. Now we need to go find the PRN file. And the way that I always do it is I go search all files and folders dot PRN. And if you're doing a lot of disk like today, you just check today's date PRN. It's looking for the file. There's one PRN there. Okay, there it is. Bronco PRN. I'm just going to drag and drop that to the desktop. Okay, so that's our first segment, how to create your artwork in a PRN file that the TAC P55 printer will see. So now let's actually fire up the P55 and let's print some disk. The software that we use to do this is called TrueNet. We'll click on TrueNet. It'll take a couple minutes here to boot up. You're going to be amazed at how easy this is. It's really easy to have a quality disk that rivals what you see at Best Buy or any other retailers that's it's quality stuff. So TrueNet's come up. Now let's make sure our setup is good. So we're going to go over and click on Setup. And we're going to hit Network Device. We're going to select the, the P55, hit Test. And here we can see that the network is in place. Go OK. Now we're going to go to Jobs, a new job. Select the P55, and if you had two or three P55s hooked up on a network, you could select which one that you want this project to go to. Then we're going to select Local Disk, find our PRN file, and then we're going to select the number that we want to print. In this case, let's just print two. Hit OK. And in status, you'll notice it's going Send Print. Look at the percentage. I'm going to let this go basically real time so you see how much time it takes. Now the thing to know is once you send this file in, whether you're going to print 100 disks or if you're going to print 1 disk or 5 disk, once it's in the memory of the P55, it's there until you replace it with other memory. Now the auto loaders that come with this system also have a hard drive in them. You can save this file into the hard drive. If it's something you're going to be printing all the time, you can save it into the hard drive on the P55 base on the autoloader, and you don't have to go through these steps again. You just select the file and print it. Okay, we're almost there. Let's go take a look at our printer. The autoloader picks up the disk, loads the disk. And if we look on the control panel here, we can see exactly what is taking place. So right now it's receiving the image. And again, if I'm printing 5 disk or if I'm printing 100 disk or 500 disk, it's only going to do this one time and receive the image. So that time that's being used on there, you can't count that towards every disk print because it won't do that. And you'll see that when it comes back and it prints the second disk. It'll go right to the second disk and pick it up. Okay, it's almost done. Okay, it's calculating the image. So now it's printing black. The noises that the P55 makes, you're going to learn to love these because it means you're making money. 
After it prints the black, it prints the cyan. Now it's printing magenta. Now it's printing yellow. And then it will transfer the image from the transfer film onto the disc. And it does that as the disc is coming out. And it's a heat transfer. So here comes our disc. Looking pretty good so far. Colors look correct. And look, we've got a combination of text. We've got artwork. We've got a photo. Now the arm's going to pick up the disc. Move it over and drop it. And it's going to pick up the disc for the next print. Now note how long it takes on the second disc for it to print from start to finish is about one minute and roughly one minute and 50 seconds. Now you see the areas on top of the printer there with those black spindles coming up. You have the ability to put 200 discs in there. And literally you can program it to print 200 discs, go off and do something else. Every time that system cycles, you're making money. So I've mentioned the word burning towers, and you're probably asking yourself, what does that mean? Well, a burning tower is nothing more than a glorified computer for all practical purposes with a whole bunch of CD or DVD drives just like you have your computer. What you do is you put in a CD or a DVD master, and it will copy that master over to the blank CDs or DVDs that you put inside the drives. So in other words, it's nothing more than a glorified, easy-to-use copy machine. And here comes our second disc. Now the cool thing is if you have your burning towers positioned in the same room right beside where your P55s are, you could be printing the disc, and while you're printing the disc, you can be burning 5, 7, 14, or more discs at one time. So it creates a very, very easy workflow to work with. So there you have it. That's uh, how to get the artwork done and how to move the artwork over into the P55 to print. Let's take a look at one of these discs. See, look at the quality of this. Look, it's shiny. Look, it's not like it's, it's not an ink jet. It's, it's not going to, if you rub on it, you can lick your thumb. You can rub on it and it's not going to come off. This is the same quality as what you see that comes out of you know, the big box stores. So what is included with the purchase of the equipment that we have packaged here? You're going to get three P55s and three auto loaders. Now, the important thing to note, P55s are commercial equipment. They have to be maintained. All maintenance on these machines has been done directly by TIAC in California. And I will provide our contact in California at TIAC that we have all the work done on these machines so you'll know who it is and how to get a hold of them. One P55 is working perfectly. That's what you saw in the video. The other two P55s are due for their annual maintenance, and the annual maintenance is to put in a new print head. New print heads cost right now, and I called TIAC to find out for sure, they said, depending on if any additional parts are needed, between $750 to $900 per unit to get that done. This is normal. And the price on this has actually dropped, so, so that's a good thing. You're also getting three 
TIAC autoloaders, those autoloaders, all three work perfectly fine. You're also getting a laptop that's already programmed with the software for doing the artwork for the disc and for controlling the P55s and the networking box to be able to operate all three P55s at the same time from that computer. Included is all the carriers for the ribbons that are needed to cover all the various ribbon types that the TAC P55 will take. And you'll notice in the picture here, those boxes above there, that's where those are located at. The P55 will print a monochrome, so a black and white. Those go really, really fast, highly profitable. The P55 will print color, like you see in the demonstration video. It'll print what's called P+. P+, is an interesting ribbon because instead of having a black inside the uh, color ribbon, it builds black with the colors that it has. And then also photo ribbon. So those carriers are all included there. As you see, there's a rack that the P55s are sitting in. You also get the rack. You will also get a leftover inventory that we have, and that's predominantly disc and DVDs and cases and, and whatnot, but there's quite a bit of that there. So that's you know there to get you up and get you started. Included, too, are the burning towers. The tower on the right, I believe, burns nine discs at a time. The other towers burn seven to five discs at a time. The four towers that you see there are beige. Those four towers are DVD towers. They will burn DVDs or they will burn CDs. The beige tower in the middle and the three black towers all burn CDs only. So you have plenty of equipment here to be able to do a lot of production work. Let's recap what you're getting. You're getting three TAC P55s with the auto loader bases. Those retail for $9,500 a piece. So that's a value of $28,500. Plus, you're getting all the ribbon carriers. That's about $600. You're getting four DVD burning towers and four CD burning towers. That's worth $8,250. You're getting a laptop with all the networking cables and networking box. That's worth $600. You're getting the rack for the P55s and you're getting the table for the burning towers. You're also getting approximately $200 or more. You know, it's all inside of boxes, so I don't know exactly how much is in there, but around $200 worth of CDs, DVDs, cases, and different materials to get you started. Plus, you're getting our vendors list so you know exactly where to go to get your CDs, your DVDs, your TIAC ribbons, all the materials you need for the business. And finally, you're getting our contact information directly to TIAC for any service or questions that you might have with the P55s. If you were to go out and buy this new, this is a total value of $38,250. At this price point, this equipment will not be sitting here for very long, so be sure to contact us. Give us a call at 303-332-3191. Again, that's 303-332-3191. 332-3191. If you get the answering machine, please leave a message and we will get back to you.